Here we have setting icon, toolbar on the left, first button. Activate icon at the bottom on the right. Choose the number of seconds on the left, in this case three. The infinite symbol on the right means that the system will take one picture every three seconds for an unlimited time. Confirm with checkbox. Here you can see the program shooting icon, which is a small camera with a timer. It is necessary to activate this timer when the aircraft reaches the first point identified on the map, in the case of a planned flight. Swipe your finger across the screen from right to left. The display will show the aircraft's position. Consider this operation must be carried out once you have GPS signal. In this specific case, the top right icon shows the number of satellites. Here we have seven satellites. When you have the satellites, you can set the waypoints. The minimum number of satellites required to assign the waypoints is six. If you don't have six satellites, you won't be able to set the waypoints. Setting the waypoints is very simple. All you have to do is click on a point of the display and waypoint number one will appear. If you click on the waypoint icon, you can remove it or even edit its height. For more waypoints, continue clicking on the display. In this case, we have set four waypoints. Once you have confirmed all your waypoints with the Done button, it will provide the height of each waypoint. And by pressing the button Go, your aircraft will set off according to the route you have set. It will fly towards waypoint 1. If you want to edit the height of a waypoint, for example, do not click on Go, but return to the previous step by clicking on the waypoint you wish to edit, assigning, for example, a new height. It is also possible to change the position dynamically by clicking near a waypoint and dragging your finger to the position you want. You can also delete all waypoints if you want to reset your plan. So to sum up, waypoint one, two, three, four, done. With go, your aircraft will automatically reach waypoint one. It's down to you now to set the shooting sequence. So, once your aircraft is flying, it will proceed along the waypoints you have previously set. When it reaches waypoint one, you can set the photo sequence range. Make sure the camera icon is set on the sequence mode you have previously chosen. In this case, a photo will be taken every three seconds. The central top icon, mid, fast, slow, enables you to choose the speed of your aircraft. At 30 meters, for example, it is advisable to fly more slowly, so choose slow. When flying higher, you can choose medium. This way, the aircraft will fly faster and you will be obtain fewer photos.
by pressing the execution icon in the bottom right corner, the toolbar will appear on the left. Please bear in mind that for topographic relief with an idea flight, the camera must be inclined facing down, perpendicular to the ground. This is very important and must be done before you start shooting. You can also reset inclination during the flight. But when shooting, the camera must be facing the ground. During a planned flight, you will have no control. You can't fly faster, nor slower, nor change flying assets. So, if you want to regain control of the aircraft, you must move the S1 switch down and then reposition it up again. This way, the aircraft will interrupt the flight plan and you will be able to take over control using the remote controller again by moving the controller sticks. In the top left corner, you can see the flight mode. When you see GPS mode, the aircraft is supported by GPS signals. When it's in central position, the aircraft is attitude mode. It means that the aircraft will not be controlled in the flight execution and command assets by GPS. Avoid this as much as possible. When in GPS mode, the aircraft is always supported in its control by the GPS signals it receives. Consequently, the flight in GPS mode is more stable, reliable and safe. Attitude mode can be used in those situations where GPS is not required, for example in indoor flights. When you reach the site of your relief, you may not be able to see the map in the DJI application. In order to visualize the map, once the connection to the aircraft is established, you must disconnect Wi-Fi and reactivate the DJI application. This way, the application can connect to your mobile system network and download the area map. Once you see the map, you can re-establish Wi-Fi connection.